Buen Camino is what you hear now when you walk the Camino de Santiago. You say it to every pilgrim you pass and they say it back. But in medieval times, you would say Utrea, which meant go further. And today I'm doing that. I'm going 17 miles. Day one, going to Roncesvalles. But I kind of want to wait for another pilgrim because it's very dark. <laughs> very dark. Just me and my shadow. Okay, I made it to the first turn in town and that's where I'm supposed to go. It's dark as heck, absolutely not. I'm gonna stand here and wait for another female pilgrim to come along. <laughs> the sun's rising, which is great. Because my, um, my headlamp, I don't, I should have replaced the batteries. I am 1.4 miles in so far. Been walking for 41 minutes. It's very uphill and I'm going as slow as I can because it's gonna be a long day and it's not a race. I just gotta do this at my own speed. This is so beautiful. <sighs> and I'm so tired already. 2.87 miles, an hour and a half. I'm just, like I said, I'm taking my time. Let's look at these views. And I saw some sheep. Or they might have been goats, I don't know. They had long hair, <laughs> but they were so cute. I was one of the first pilgrims on the trail today and now I've been passed by so many. This is so steep. It's so, so steep. You can't, you can't tell. I don't know why I'm showing you, you can't tell. You can't tell. Can you tell? <laughs> Can you tell from I was down there before? No, I'm not. My legs, they burn. So we're finally off the road. We're on this like dirt trek and maybe a kilometer left to Orison, which is nice because somewhere between Orison and Roncesvalles, there's a food truck. Yeah, this, this is hard. <laughs> But it's the hardest day. It's the hardest day. So once I'm past this, it's mostly downhill-ish, more or less, from there. <laughs> Look how high up I've come. I can't believe I've done this. <laughs> you can do hard things. Just take it one step at a time. And believe in yourself. So if, like, if the Loch Ness Monster can believe in itself, so can you. Whew. How is this real? How? You see the house way down there in the shadows? I've still not made it very far. Switch hats though and put on sunscreen. Mm -hmm. It's just incredible. Okay, so day one thoughts. I'm really glad I started at the beginning. This is really hard, but um, come on. I might be a third of the way there. Um, I really don't know. I haven't made, I still haven't made it to Orison. It said two kilometers an hour ago, so I don't know. I don't know where this town is. I'm feeling really good. Like I've been sleeping good. It's so different from last year. I've been eating. That's a really steep hill up there. <laughs> But I'm so glad that I've started from the beginning. That looks steep. <laughs> okay, if I'm being honest. Halfway through the elevation gain for the day, I don't know that I'm gonna make it. I'm telling myself I can do this. But, oh my, hardest thing I've ever done.
I'm pretty sure I see people climbing up that little mountain right now. Oh my gosh, shade. <sighs> this has been, like seriously, the hardest, hardest physical feat of my life. But the most beautiful, more sheep. So update, update. I'm hot, I have a migraine. I ate my apple, I ate my chocolate croissant. I ate something else. <sighs> I'm nine kilo eight, eight kilometers, like five miles away from where I stopped tonight. That's the last big hill. <laughs> and then it's downhill from there. And I should be to my albergue on time. I have to be there by seven. That's when they lock the doors, but it is one o'clock and I have done 9.28 miles in the last six hours and 45 minutes. So basically I need to do a mile an hour from Saint Jean Pierre de Port to Orison. So hard. This section has got a lot more flat areas and don't get me wrong, it still has a bunch of steep stuff. The steep stuff is not as, not as bad. Physical update, my feet hurt a tiny bit. This shoulder is pulling a little bit. Not sure what's going on with that. And I'm really proud of myself. I had a little bit of anxiety this morning thinking there's literally nowhere to stop on the way. So if I get out there and I can't do it, I'm screwed. And I thought, no, 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 don't think like that because you are gonna do this. And I've met several other pilgrims that I've told my story to about coming last year, having the horrible anxiety and going home. And they both told me that they're really impressed and just like, you know, good on me for doing this, for coming back, for facing that fear. And it's, it makes me feel really good. Basically, I will cry when I get to the albergue, and I'll cry when I cross back into Spain here in a few minutes. <sighs> There's a food truck. <laughs> I don't need food. Will I get some? Absolutely. I'll get all the food. See him up there? Sorry, that was really shaky. Don't sell out, bro. Literally no cheese for me. <laughs> All right, a guy just sold me that we're pretty much at the top, which means, oh, oh my gosh. I stopped because of that. I'm so proud right now. Still like five miles to go. The sun came back out. Oh, I hate the sun. I wish I wish it was overcast. Like that. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, past the France Spain border. Fountain. But I freaking walked to Spain. France, 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 France. Sketchy, sketchy, sketchy. Spain. <sighs> Pretty sure that was it. I just walked from Spain to Spain. Oh my gosh. Two and a half hours left of my walk. That's what the signs say. They actually say like two, so I'm, I'm slow, two and a half. So I should be getting there around four or five. Plenty of time. I'll have walked about nine, nine and a half hours today. And I'm gonna sleep so good. <sighs> this little, this little section, so stunning. Oh my gosh. Um, I just can't really film a lot because there's rocks and I'm kind of all alone. <laughs> Besides some elderly people behind me that I don't think they'd be able to help if I fell, so. This is fun, I have to walk through here. This is the cleanest spot and it's right beside barbed wire. This hike took so much longer than I thought. 
I clocked in around like 11 and a half to 12 hours worth of walking. <laughs> you know what was really beautiful about this day? I mentioned telling some people my struggles with walking last year and how they were really hopeful for me for this year. They were at the albergue and whenever they saw me, their faces lit up and they were cheering for me. And I felt, I felt like a superstar. I felt like Chuck Norris. I felt invincible. I felt unstoppable. And I felt like there were so many people there who had my back and who were watching for me. And that was just such a beautiful feeling. And you know the kicker to all this? I was so afraid of the Pyrenees Mountains and everything about, just everything about today scared me. I am so incredibly glad that I did not let my fear win because now I can look back on this forever and tell myself that I can do anything I set my mind to and no one can take that away from me. In next week's episode, I wake up in 1402, the year of our Lord. I give a quick hostel to and then I become a comedian. These hills are no joke. Another <laughs> proclamation is made. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. And most importantly, my mental health is like, it's doing so good. And then my shoes are not gripping. I realize how very unprepared I really am. <laughs>